I'm Joe Duffy, CEO of OffshoreInsiders.com, NBA betting secrets, how to bet the NBA. And this is similar. We did do a video as far as where we go on a daily basis for our various sports, but as we mentioned in that video, each sport is a little differently, and as far as what sites we use are slightly different, and we will happily, as you will see, give shout-outs to sites that are directly and indirectly competitors of ours. One of the first things we do is visit Google News, which is news.google.com. You simply enter the teams that are playing. In this case, we're going to use the Mavericks and the Blazers, and I entered Mavericks Blazers as uh, my search term, and it will come up with all the newspaper articles uh, from the various websites out there great previews from the team's own websites and you can click on that And as we showed you in our previous video we will go to each individual article find you know valuable notes from that and then post it on our clipboard and we compile various news and notes um, and you can get again those local newspaper previews extremely extremely valuable we have no problems whatsoever giving a shout-out to a competitor of ours, Jim Feist Fast Facts, absolutely our favorite site as far as our cheat sheet when it comes to the scheduling dynamics. This is only applicable last year where teams are playing three games and three nights, but you can see it'll tell you which teams are playing back-to-back -back nights, which teams are playing three games and four nights, which teams are playing four games in five nights. Uh, again, Jim Feist is tremendous with that. Another competitor of ours covers.com but they have a fantastic database no question about it two of our favorite parts when you go to the matchup section the stats analysis you can see how teams have done recently of course you can see the overall statistics we're recording this early in the season so the last five will be the same as overall but especially when you get 10 15 20 games under your belt uh, tremendous site as far as analyzing how teams have done overall and as we said, baseball and the NBA are the two sports where we particularly like the home road splits. You can see how the road team has performed on the road this year. The home team has performed at home. So we said this is early in the season, so the statistics are going to be a little bit distorted. But this is one of the more important statistics to look at. You can see Portland has been outscored by an average of two points per game on the road, while Dallas is outscoring teams by 27 points per game at home. Again, this is early in the season, so not statistically significant, the demonstration we're giving you now but they are a great site for that team rankings is also very good as far as breaking it down for splits we just like the way that uh, covers is set up a little bit better but we like team rankings where they are very good for the travel analysis we like them even better in college basketball where we can see how far a team has to travel but we combine that along with the scheduling dynamics of the FICE site that, that we referred to Killer Sports, a little uncomfortable with the name, but a fantastic uh, site as far as statistics are concerned. We prefer to look up uh, league-wide systems rather than team-specific trends, but anything you want to look up, maybe a team is coming off of a 20-point loss the night before, and then they are a favorite of uh, 12 points the next day, you can see how a team is, as I said, coming off of a 20-point loss with no rest and then laying 10 or more points the next day or any scenario that you want to look up and see how teams have done over the years. It's a fantastic site, and they go back a long time and go back all the way to 1995. Again, Killer Sports is a site that we use quite often. Fox Sheets, the StatFox Premium site, is tremendous. A lot of the angles, a lot of the systems that you hear us quote, we do get from uh, Fox Sheets. And you can actually organize it exactly how you want it, but a lot of those systems do come directly from that. They have the AP write-ups or the StatSync's write-ups, which are pretty good. You can get that a lot of places, but we like the fact it's organized on one page. More importantly, what we like from Fox Sheets that you can't get from any of those free sites is essentially we use it as a uh, schedule power rating for each facet of a team's game. For example, their offense... Portland averages 101 points per game, but more importantly, it's the defenses that are normally allowing 97.1. So you can see if a team has maybe faced better defensive teams than their opponent has, this really breaks it uh, down more specifically, and you can see that Portland is scoring 3.9 points per game than their opponent normally allows. Again, I remind you, this is done early in the year. The stats aren't 
that significant as of yet, but becomes so valuable once uh, the teams get 10, 20 games under their belts, etc. Now, how to evaluate injuries. There is no better website in the world than NBA.com, their own website. You can see uh, it's got the plus-minus statistics if you're familiar with how they work in hockey. Uh, probably don't need to explain it to you, but it shows how a team is when a player is on the court. Now, this is actually the two-player combos. You can see who the best two-player combos are. But if one player is hurt, sorry, you can uh, go specifically to the NBA.com's own web website, and you can see who the best and the worst players, and you can go through each and every player and see how valuable statistically he is to a team insofar as the plus-minus statistics. John Hollinger's power ratings are the best power ratings from a gambler standpoint. He on ESPN. Now, the reason that we're going to how he explains his ratings are, as we said, we're only a few games into the season, so it is not statistically significant yet as far as his power ratings are. Again, the more effective uh, they are as there are more games, but these are very similar to the Ken Palm ratings that we use in college basketball. And last, certainly not least, our own website, offshoreinsiders.com not only has the best premium picks but please check out our left rail where you can get all we're on pretty much all kinds of the social media check out our facebook uh website we've got our own twitter feed which is tremendous podcast we do videos did you know we did videos and by the way look at the top of the page if you're watching this on youtube or whatnot and subscribe to our videos again offshoreinsiders.com as we put all this intel in the use for the best plays in the world at offshoreinsiders.com